Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be what I bought during Black Friday. Last year, I did spend a pretty penny. Um, I don't know, like I spent a lot last year, but this year I just, I think I was really overwhelmed um, by all the deals out there. And I kind of went back and forth on whether I wanted to actually purchase anything at all. Um, but I decided that, like, it's, sometimes it's hard because sometimes, sometimes things are on sale. It's like, oh, it's on sale. It's a good deal. I'm going to get that. But did you actually want it in the first place? Do you know what I mean? So that's what today's video is going to be about. The things that I actually wanted and picked up. A lot smaller than last year's which is totally fine with me. Some of these things are purchased before Black Friday, um, and then some of these are th from the Black Friday sales that have been going on, but I'm just gonna include all my recent purchases in with the Black Friday haul. So, got a couple of new palettes. Um, I, I don't know. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six newer palettes. Um, so yeah, let's start with this one. This is the BH Cosmetics Avocado Toast Palette. I just love a green tone palette. Um, and this one's really pretty. And I really like the Blueberry Muffin Palette. And so I wanted this one because it also gives me like the Kylie Cosmetics Grinch Palette vibes. And so love that. I actually did a look pairing this palette with the next one. And that is the Lorac Pro Fairy Tale Forest Palette. This is my first Lorac palette ever, um, and I am not upset about it. Like, look at this color story. The color story is so pretty. This green is gorgeous. I'll pop the look that I did right there. I thought it was really pretty. Um, but yeah, pretty impressed with the quality. Um, didn't know what to expect, but I'm very happy that, that I have it. Then if you caught my video of the palettes that live in my head rent free, I caved on one. Can you guess which one it was? I'll give you a minute. Glam Light Dirty Martini. I just couldn't resist. I haven't used it yet. Don't think I've even swatched it yet. But oh my gosh. Look at all the textures in this palette. Oh. <gasps> Beautiful. It's quite similar to the Avocado Toast palette, but I don't care. I can never have too many green tone palettes. This one is so pretty. Then, all of the Kate. So yeah, these first couple, these first four are ones that um, I purchased before any Black Friday still started. Then the next one is the Rudolph palette with ColourPop. I seriously cannot with the packaging. Like, I was like, okay, yeah, I'm buying the entire collection. It's so pretty. I love Christmas. I love Rudolph. We watch it every year, every Christmas season. And so I thought I really was going to get the whole thing. But I'm like, no, you don't need it. You don't even want it. You want it because the packaging, and that's so dangerous. But the palette is something that I definitely did want. Because the color story is so Christmassy, so pretty. I mean, it's simple and not like anything new, but I just love a Christmas themed palette and the packaging is just to die for. I absolutely love it. So those are the four new palettes that I bought pre back before any Black Friday sales started. Um, really happy, not disappointed whatsoever. Okay, let's talk Natasha Denona Black Friday sale. I don't remember the price I paid for these two. Um, I honestly kind of think I blacked out and bought them. Um, this is never an amount of money I spent um, on makeup for like two things. Um, but yeah, I think she had like a buy one, get one half off maybe. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what her, what her sales were like, but I, I bought a bundle. I bought two palette bundle. I seriously think I blacked out when I did this. Okay, so I bought the bundle with um, the Biba palette and the Trio Chrome palette. Oh my god! I, oh man. 
I seriously thought like there's never, nope, never gonna buy a 129 Natasha palette. I mean, for some reason I can justify a Pat McGrath palette, I don't know. But I'm like, no. Then I bought the gold palette because they were gonna take it from me forever. And I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Is the, are these something, like, are these palettes that I would be sad if I missed out on? I don't think so, but I hear a lot of great things. Especially about the Biba palette. So, hmm, <laughs> I don't, <laughs> I bought it, and I'm kind of freaking out, like. So, yeah, this is going to be a great everyday palette for me. I'm so excited. And the Trio Chrome, the packaging is so trippy. This palette also gets a lot of uh, good reviews and a lot of things, like good things said about it, even though it may not be the most like flippy multi-chrome shadows. Um, and that's fine. I don't need to have that intense flip um, with my eyeshadows, but the color story is just so fun. And it's fun to have like a brighter pastel palette from Natasha Denona. So I am so excited for this. So yeah. Those were the palettes that I bought recently. Excessive, for sure, but I'm happy. <laughs> I need to like go back in my videos to see like where I stood with palettes from Natasha Denona last year. Cause I think other than one of them, or maybe two, it might've just been my mini star and my bronze palette. I might have bought in all the rest of them this year, which is so crazy. From Ulta, their Black Friday sale, I didn't think was too amazing. I mean, I like the mascara deal was nice and I was th thinking about getting a mascara, um, but like truly nothing was on my wish list before the, the sale announced. Like, I'm not going to just buy things just because it's on sale, which is hard. It's hard to not do that because it's so easy, right? It's so easy. But the things that I did pick up from the Ulta sale, one being the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream, it, the, the eye cream. I've had the Confidence in a Cream, like, regular one before, and it's really nice. It's nice and thick and hydrating. Um, And I was thinking about... I don't know, just picked up a new eye cream because I need, I need eye cream. I need that moisture on my eyelids and underneath. Like I have to have it. <sighs> I just don't feel, I just don't feel good without it. So I'm happy to have this. The next thing I purchased was the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. Um, not a huge fan of the scent. It's pink grapefruit, which is a nice scent. No problem with that. But I just like a more like... I like a more spa scent for my skincare, not like a fruity scent, if that makes it. You know what I mean? But I don't, were they selling this for $19? I really think they were. Um, and it's a priced 52, I guess. So I heard that this is really good, um, like not just for the face, but for the rest of the body. Um, and I was thinking about using this for my son. He's got those little bumps on his arm. Don't know what, what it's called exactly, but I thought maybe this would help him out. Okay, what else did I get from Ulta? Truly not much. Oh, I always pick up like a couple of their like hand soaps. I bought the like, I don't even remember. I really don't remember. They're downstairs and I'm not, I'm not getting them. Um, but they were on sale for like $3.50. So I got two of the holiday scents as I always do. Then I have to, I think this is the last thing i picked up from ulta part of their sale and that is the undone beauty lip to cheek blush palette or lip to cheek palette in the shade rosewood i have one already um but i really wanted to try this tone i think undone beauty was like 30 percent off um and i have one of these already in a different shade so i knew i liked the formula um so that's truly it from ulta like not not exciting at all there really wasn't anything else that really caught my attention. Nothing that I really, really wanted. Um, and I'm not just gonna buy things just to, just to buy. I'm really proud of myself for doing that because I, I buy just to buy a lot. 
a lot of the time. Kosas, I think, Kosas was another site that I bought from and I think they had a 30% off their products or like a certain amount of money you spend that's like, like spend 20 bucks, 20%20 off, I don't know. But I picked up a new shade of my, one of my favorite concealers. This is the Kosas Revealer Concealer. And I, I have two already. They're not a perfect shade for me. So I bought the lightest one, I think, O1N. I love this concealer and I need it. I need it at a different shade because those were too dark and I, I wanna use them without having to mix things, I guess. Um, so super happy about that. And then finally, finally, I bought the Kosas 10 second eyeshadow in the shade Globe. I have Copper Halo already. But Jamie Page loves this, and I'm sure that was the reason it sold out on Sephora and has been sold out for quite some time. But I picked it up from the Kosas site, got my discount, um, and it's really nice. It's a nice everyday shadow that is not too much or over the top. It's just a nice everyday look. So I'm really happy to have a new shade in my concealer and this. So that's Awesome. So as we know, Ariana Grande came out with a beauty line and when it launched, I was, like most people, I was so skeptical about the packaging. It just looked, it looked like Claire's makeup and the highlighters, they didn't look like they'd be really good, but apparently that's not the case. She's been getting a lot of good reviews on her products and that's amazing. Um, but I did pick up two things. I picked up both. Okay. I thought the lipstick packaging was so cool. Like that one was really cool to me. I really was into it. So I picked up the lipstick and I have the shade, oh my gosh, you can't even read it, Wine and Dine. I thought this one was described as a neutral, but there's no way in heck this is neutral. So this is the packaging. It's pretty darn chunky, but that's fine. It's so cute. You have the little window, like a little astronaut guy. And this is the lipstick. Oh, smells like, smells like my Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. This is the shade, it's really dark, which I'm not too mad at. I thought it was like a neutral brown. Ooh, it, yeah, it's definitely like a brownie, burgundy color. Super creamy, super pretty. I have not worn it yet. Have not worn it yet, <laughs> but happy nonetheless. And it like has the magnetic closure. If you put it on wrong, it's gonna twist into the correct spot. So, pretty happy with this. It's really cute and a nice fall color. Ooh, I'll show this one because I don't, I didn't have it yet to show. Um, the last package from my Sephora haul. Oh wait, hold on. I didn't finish Ariana Grande's or uh, Run Beauty. Wow, my brain. Okay, then the second thing I bought from is it REM Beauty or Run Beauty? Not too sure. I bought one of their liquid eyeshadows in the shade Fembot, because like, are you kidding me? This is Fembot right here on my hand, that purple shade, really pretty. I have it topped off on my eyelids, super pretty on top of something else, which I'll show you in a second. Um, yeah, pretty impressed with this. This thing is so pretty. I thought it was gonna be like super blue and icy, but it's more purple, it has a lot of, it has a lot going on and it's stunning. I absolutely love. Okay, back, now we can go to the Sephora, um, the last package that I received. Other than my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer, a replacement is coming because this is how it arrived. And I'm try I've been still trying to use it, this big fluffy brush tapping so softly so nothing goes everywhere. So that package should be here tomorrow actually. <laughs> Thank goodness, because I'm so excited to try that. Okay, but then the last two products um, were lip products. I bought their Sephora Melting Lip Click. <laughs> That's a fun name. These were on like, these were like $5. What shade is this? Creme Brulee. So let's give it a little click. Ooh. Very nice. That's pretty. Pretty darn brown. Oh, but it feels super good. Honestly, it feels 
just like the next product I'm going to be talking about. And that is another shade in the Gucci little Rouge Debut Brilliant. <laughs> I tried. I tried to make that sound good. Um, I bought another one of these. I bought Sally Soft Honey. Um, and it was very pinky, but it was very cute. But I wanted a more nude tone. And this is the shade Lynette Stone. Yeah. Um, so cute. Let's give it a little swatch. I'll swatch it next to the Sephora one, actually. So this is Gucci. This is Sephora. Kind of the same thing. I think the Sephora one has more shine, maybe. Hard to tell. But this one is more neutral. This one is quite a warmer shade. But I feel very fancy having that in my collection. So pretty happy. The last things that I bought for makeup, this again, this was another one that I bought before any Black Friday sales started. Um, I had never tried the Auric Smoke Reflex because they, once they launched, they were out of stock for forever. Um, but then she did her little collect Christmas holiday collection reveal that came with like a cranberry and like a green emerald smoke reflect. So pfft, bitch like it was done it was done for me i bought the little bundle the box oops the box is so freaking cute like i want to keep this forever and inside inside are the other little two boxes there's they're not in here um but look at this packaging look at this packaging so cute so stinking cute so excited so along with that i bought um, one of their existing smoke reflex. Where is it? Where is it? Yeah, I bought the shade Defiance in the smoke reflect. So it's the golden bronzy one. Super very, super, super very pretty. Um, but I was so stoked for this launch. And then here is the shade entice it's the green super pretty and it has the like white gold kind of greeny gold flip for the powder and this is the one i'm wearing today under the rem liquid shadow this is the shade disrupt oh my gosh like i love i love it and it, it has this beautiful pink to gold flip. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. It gives you that beautiful cranberry like eye look. <sighs> I love it. Um, super happy with my purchases. Uh, I do have one thing that is not here yet. Um, Bobby Brown, I think, had 30% off. And I've been itching to get the vitamin base primer thing. The vitamin e enriched priming base I wanted that so bad um so I bought it on sale and it was the only thing I bought from Bobby Brown which I'm very happy about um slippery slope my friends slippery slope so somehow I'm missing the outro to this video so here we are doing it now thank you so much <laughs> thank you so much for watching this video let me know what you picked up in Black Friday haul were you overwhelmed just like me or just nothing really caught your eye let me know and I'll see you at the next one bye guys